Every six months, the volume of digital data on living organisms doubles. Genes and proteins are described for single organisms and for entire populations in everything, from bacteria to humans. Vast amounts of clinical data from the healthcare sector are recorded and available in a digital form. With the help of powerful supercomputers, we can transform these data into valuable knowledge on complex diseases, more precise and cheaper medicine, or new biotechnological applications. Denmark has taken an important step towards making this happen with the investment in a life science supercomputer facility at DTU. The system, called Computerome, will enable researchers across Danish universities, companies, and healthcare institutions to collaborate on data and computational resources. It's also an important part of the European life science infrastructure, ELIXA, that connects Denmark with many of Europe's leading bioinformatics resources. In order to play a role in today's uh, biology and, and medicine with all those data, we really need capacity and computational muscle. And, and this new supercomputer is really giving us a unique uh, position where we can attract uh, data that we then will not have to pay for ourselves and we can use them in our analysis and combine them with our own data. The new life science supercomputer installation at Riesø is very unique in the way that it is optimized only for life science applications. It means that bioinformatics research, healthcare and the pharmaceutical industry will have an opportunity to work in a collaborative manner on a number of the same curated datasets. This new area, bioinformatics, systems biology, medical informatics, it's not just research, it's, it's also business. Uh, because uh, methods and solutions are, are, are needed, so there will be a lot of business development, a lot of new companies uh, created in this uh, domain that really spans different uh, worlds, hardcore supercomputing with, 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 with clinical and, and molecular biology domains. It's actually not so difficult to predict the future in this uh, area because the data will become cheaper and cheaper, the supercomputers will become more and more uh, effective, and we really need to put these things together in order to make treatment more uh, precise. And um, I'm very optimistic because we have the means and we also have the needs. We need to make treatment um, more efficient and, and, and uh, cheaper. Uh, but we will also be in, uh, in a very good position to achieve that goal.